What's up, Jaywalkers? We are back with another reaction. This is going to be the Season 8, Episode 2 of The Vampire Diaries. The premiere, it was good. Uh, damn good first episode. We had a lot go on. We learned a lot about these sirens that has Damon and Enzo under its control. We saw this freaking siren at the end. Uh, it was crazy getting out of the water, but Damon shutting off his humanity. Um, and it's, it's pretty bad this time. Stefan said it best, though. Like, hopefully there's, like, some piece of Damon that... Is holding on to the humanity, holding on to something, and then that's when it cuts to Damon picturing, closing his eyes and picturing his first moment with Elena. It was sweet as shit. Enzo leaving clues for Bonnie and Stefan. A lark moving into Caroline's house. Caroline moving into Stefan's house, which we absolutely love. But uh, yeah, like I said, a lot going on. We're excited for episode two. The full reaction will be over on my Patreon page. Links to that will be in the description box of everybody on YouTube if you want to check out the full uncut, unedited reactions to get them early, feel free to hit that link and do so. With that being said, we're gonna jump into it. Let's go. I'm gonna bring you to my buyer. <laughs> I think she's gonna find you irresistible. You don't wanna meet her. She might eat you. And by might, I mean she damn sure will. She cleans up well. Good music made in the last 200 years. Yeah. My favorites are the love songs. When I made this it's valid. playlist, it's valid. Days, I wish Enzo shared your sense of fun. Why does he keep trying to get rescued? To working solo, he'll come around. I hope you're right. Because I need him to be like you. All in. On the internet, that chickens that are slaughtered in factories don't taste as good because their bodies release all this adrenaline. Well, just so you know, every other meal we brought you was in full freak out mode. In that case, beer is delicious. Never mind, internet. Boom. Internet is wrong a lot. Beer is delicious. All right. I'm gonna go, uh, Dear Elena, get me a bowl of beer really quick. Elsewhere in actual romance, the Salvatore house is about to become my official residence. We I love it. We love it. Also, I wanted to tell you, I noticed something weird. I think you guys overpaid me this week. Might have been a mix-up. <laughs> you didn't get no, paid no, enough. No, a mix-up. Damon's gonna be picturing Elena again. I want what everybody wants. Tell me, what is it that I want? I mean, seeing that, it just... Anytime I see Elena, it just brings me back keeping my new eyes open. After you spend to a couple simpler years times. With all the parts of your body. Ah, well, yeah. damn. Not getting into your head, not since the day we Cool met. it down in here. I was unprepared for your attack. You'll give in eventually. Eventually, maybe quite some time. My previous record for torture was 70 years <laughs> and change. Who's Sarah Nelson? Don't know. Don't care. Your mouth can lie, but your subconscious can't. Bonnie, you need to eat something. Oh, well, later. Right now, we need to be looking Bonnie, at Bonnie, you need to look after yourself. From the information they have so far, the victims' names. There's Sarah Nelson. Sarah Nelson. Nelson. Here we go. What? I think Enzo picked his moment. What makes you say that? Because there's another Sarah Nelson living in North Carolina. Her real name is Sarah Salvatore. Let me know when we get close to Raleigh. Uh, just close your eyes, Bonnie. You'll get your Enzo back. Your theory is that Harvey was hearing an actual siren? Like a supernatural creature? Sounds crazy. It's theory, it's just data. You're totally helping. Shut up, Georgie. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like Georgie. Go. Keep Something talking, Georgie. Why is she suddenly pushing the pause button on her mysterious master plan? Easy. She has a new priority. Giving you a spanking. Afraid of that eternal damnation preview she gave me when she got in my head. That's mind games. None of it's real. Uses himself first, Damon Salvatore. May we talk somewhere privately, Miss Nelson? <laughs> Good. Shit! Stop cashing my checks. Didn't want to take money from serial killers. Well, here's a couple of serial killers right in front of you. Nice to see you, too. Hello, love. Only in the armory do they do doodles in cuneiform. I've seen that symbol before. Oh, shit. Wait, where are you going? She instantly freaked out over that symbol. He's fighting some kind of mind control. I mean, he won't even look at Bonnie. It's too painful. The more specific my thoughts are, the more she can key in on me psychically. We are talking about a living, breathing siren, right? Why are you and Damon? We were in the vault when she needed a snack. I don't know, Bonnie. I really wish I did. To return to her soon. What? 
Why? You're safe now. Enzo knows what he's doing. And he I knows. Know you if I stay here, I don't allow myself to think about how important you are. Am I important? Most important thing in his life. Interrogator wouldn't leave my head until I gave her a meaningful name. All I can do now is try not to get Sarah killed. <laughs> She's not letting you go back. Enough. Damn. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right move. Only people who don't hit their sisters get to go to the car. But Bonnie did it, okay, and we support pretty much everything Bonnie does. So. Damn it, Damon. I was told to have fun. Say fun. Oh, no. Fun is a freaking going to a theme park, getting on a roller coaster, Damon. That's not fun. So we should all just hit the road together? No thanks. Oh my god. There's dead stuff and you and I included. She's Uncle Zach's daughter. Her name is Sarah Salvatore. Damon, you better listen. That's impossible. Damon? You're not destined to go to hell, Damon. Do you want to know why? Tell us. Am I going to find cigarette butts? That symbol place? has her in a different universe right now. I'm hiding things than that. I'm going to show you something. All right, that's the opposite of She's the gonna Relax. It's gonna be marked on her skin. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do you know about this symbol? <laughs> I saw it when I was dead. Drove across the yellow line and I don't remember the crash at all. Mm. But what I do remember is waking up somewhere else and in that moment I knew I'd killed my best friend. Oh, this is so a lot. <laughs> of all that, the one thing I could see this symbol. I can't explain it. It was just there. What the fuck? Don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Been through you too much. Seen too much to crazy, think I'm you're seen. crazy. I'm too far away from her. She's trying to pull me back in. We need to what? turn around you, right you now. gotta turn around. Look at Enzo. No! Head's about to explode. I'm gonna let you out of my sight. I can't lose you again. Never lost me, Bonnie Bennett. Oh, that's the best possible thing he could have said in that moment. You have to let me go. There's a sad story of Uncle Zach's girl. Come on, Damon. Make the right choice. Do it for our family. But for me. That got to Damon. It had to have. It had to have. Run. That's the Damon we love. Get out of here. So. So, so much. <laughs> Elena. Um, none of your business. A lot of willpower. A real sense of self. A connection to some shred of humanity. Still there. I never realized you had a loyalty leak. This is, is bad. Very irritating. Very bad. I know, Bonnie. You're right. It's the last thing we need her to see. It's a private moment. I feel like crying every time Damon imagines this with Elena. I'm Damon. I'm Sybil. Worst you can still make fucking right. thing imaginable! Please. It's over. Fight. Why? Oh no. It's insane. Worry about your brother. I've taken over his last mental refuge and giving it a little remodel. Oh. I still, I still believe Damon can fight this somehow. This, this girl is powerful as fuck. And, you know, I'm fine with her, you know, jumping into Damon's head, you know, toying around with all his memories all she wants. You gotta stay away from the Elena moment. Stepping at Sarah out of town? I don't know. Yeah. We've both been I mean, out of the loop. Kinda, you can kinda say that. Oh. She's not here anymore. On Earth. Rescue my boyfriend. Yeah, but we had a plan. I had a plan too. I had a plan to grow old with Enzo and come home to him every night. I see everything that you have, your home, your boyfriend, your kids, your life. It makes me feel so alone that I wanna die. How you really feel? I hate myself for it. But you don't. You're not alone, Bonnie. I'm so sorry. 
I should have thought about what this was like for you. I've been a terrible friend. I no love matter this what moment. else happens in my life, I'm here for you. I love this Whatever moment. Whatever you need, even if it's just to rage at me and scream at me. I freaking love this moment, dude. Because, like, for Caroline, we can understand that her mind is elsewhere. It's distracted. But for her to, to now reassure Bonnie that she's not alone and she's always here for her, I think it's perfect because Bonnie... <sighs> She's, she's hurting so much from losing Enzo and just from all of this, so Caroline, that's big. That's very big. Your happiness is a part of my happiness. Always. Always. I thought she was going to say always and forever. A little piece of clout. I, I thought it was kind of coming. Is Sarah okay? Depends. How the afterlife's treating her, we don't know. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. You know, there's a big archive search. Still Better give her another work. raise. Intern swagger code for boss. I found something. Uh, yeah, a certain missing artifact from Midsummer's Day, 1790. Oh, she found something. That's the symbol. I think it was made in hell. It was made in I hell. Us. And evil. It was made in Texas. We wouldn't want to fall behind. I just need a little peek. This damn siren is invading. Too much privacy right now. Leave? Then leave. I'm not gonna watch you. I will never stop fighting. I will brave the oceans and sail past the sirens to find my way back to you. Carry this all by yourself. Actually, I have to. Last Salvatore standing. But today, they are all gone. Stefan. Look, I know what you're gonna say saw it happen. He belongs to the siren now. Four Did now. Give up hope. Oh. Sounds like you already are, Stefan. You already have. Taking this into a room for my kids? Yeah, I mean, I figured they might want to come visit sometime. Stefan. Never expected you to do this. No, that's the most Stefan thing ever, so I don't know why you didn't expect you it. Family now. Yeah. Is that a ring? This mother. Stefan! Stefan! Actually, that's. Stefan! That's an easy yes. They're like what? Like a friendship ring? Like a or? we're together for life ring. Get on your knees. <laughs> Stefan, or your knee. Seven? Better do this right. Elizabeth Forbes. Better get down. I Say it! You. Spit it out, Stefan! We don't need the yes, but I just wanna hear it. I just wanna hear it. We don't even need to hear it. It's all right. That kiss is yes louder than. All right. All right. We're good. I'm a little. I'm a little salty. Stefan didn't get on his knee though. But at least we're ending the episode off right. Like, come on, for a tragic episode. That was a wholesome ending. Stefan and Caroline getting married. It was a, a very sweet proposal there at the end. But uh, the only thing missing, Stefan didn't get on his knee. And, and propose while grabbing her hand, all that. Would have, would, have been a, would have been a little bit better in my opinion, but hey, the proposal is all that matters. Stefan, he did it. Caroline easily said yes. I mean, we didn't need her to say yes, but she said it. So, very happy there. And I, th I think that might take the cake for my, for my favorite moment in the episode now. Before that, I mean, we, we could talk about the, the Bonnie-Caroline scene. That scene, too, was too damn special. Uh, Bonnie saying that, you know, she sees Caroline and Stefan's love and she's, after she sees that she feels so alone and she wants to die and she doesn't have that and she needs that with Enzo. And then Caroline instantly, you know, started to feel bad for Bonnie, started to apologize for not checking on her more. Her mind has been elsewhere. But Caroline in that moment was such a good friend and she said the perfect words to Bonnie. And it was a very heartwarming scene, a scene that they needed to have and, and one of my favorites between Caroline and Bonnie, definitely like recently with those two, uh, seeing that scene was perfect, but this fucking siren, dude. She's, she's charming. She, she, she has that charm about her, man. She doesn't even need mind control or anything. She just, that move she did with her legs, I think that's all she needs to do. But uh, yeah, the siren, it's crazy. Um, has Damon fully under her control. Like even getting into Damon's head and tampering with that scene that Damon pictures with him and Elena. 
For her to mess with that? That, that's uncalled for, dude. And Stefan saying Damon fully died, all of the Salvatores fully died today. Uh, with Sarah and then with Damon just letting her die. Oh. So everything with that was crazy. Bonnie trying to save Enzo uh, kind of made things a little bit worse, but Enzo promising that he will find his way back to Bonnie. We'll see. We hope so. We're hoping for the best, but yeah, it's some pretty dark shit we're going through. Even the stuff with Alaric and with the, the girl he's working with and exploring all this with and you know, all these facts about hell and how this thing might have been made in hell. It's all, like, it's it's insane. But uh, enjoying the dark, the darkness of the storyline so far, um, I think it's off to a pretty good start. I am enjoying what we're getting from the siren. Uh, crazy stuff all around. This one's a little bit hard to do, but MVP of the episode, I think I'm going to give to to Caroline this episode. Obviously, many, many... Ch characters we could put in this MVP spot but I'm going Caroline for the fact that she was involved in my uh, my two favorite scenes of this episode with the, the scene with Bonnie and then the the proposal scene at the end with with Stefan uh, Caroline wasn't in the episode much but I think those two scenes really made her stand out in my opinion loved what we got from Bonnie I think we had some good stuff from Stefan and Enzo as well even with Damon uh, Siren was very active in this episode, so we could have went a lot of different ways, but we really got to give it up to Caroline, involved in two really great scenes here, and, uh, yeah, we love that ending, solid episode, we hope you guys enjoyed the, my reaction to this one, thank you all for watching, I'm out.